I heard him knocking the door very hard. And from the inside, I could hear that he's carrying some keys and it was a male voice. So I moved close to this door. By the way, welcome to today's video. It's a makeup uh, tutorial, beginner friendly full guide and i will also share a awkward story what happened to me yesterday before then i will tell you what i always do i will use cleanser if you don't have a cleanser you can go ahead and just wash your face with um the normal washing style and just make sure that it's fresh And now I will use Huya Laron Hydrator Serum. I find it very, very uh, good for my skin because I have a dry skin, really dry skin. And this locks the moisture in very well and I love it. So this is what I use, but you can also use anything that works for you. So with circular motions, I will just make it fully absorbed to the skin. And on the cheek area, I always like to fill my cheek with air for good absorptions. Just like this. This helps uh, reduce the smile lines. So I just make sure that evenly spread everywhere and then tap it in. So I have this CeraVe moisturizer. It's really nice and good to my skin. It has a sunscreen SPF 50 as well. So it's good for a day makeup. And since the eye area there is such a thin skin, I use this method to massage my underline. It's very important to pay attention to them and to massage it correctly. time if you have a pore minimizer you can go ahead and just put the pore minimizer it helps reduce the pores for a flawless uh, final look so that is what I did for my brows I sometimes help, like to put just a powder so that it's easy to trim and also easy to apply um, to make a filling or draw the filling line on the brows. For trimming the eyebrows, you can also use a razor blade or anything else that you have. And I'll just go with my powder. Then trim the excess hair. And then I'll go in with a eyebrow liner. And I'll just sketch just like this.
so i normally draw the outer line and then i fill it in this is to prevent and like to avoid like having accepts a feeling so this is how i just do it And I'll fill it in just like this to make it look more natural. And now I'll go with a very light color concealer. And then I'll mix it with brown. There is a way I love the eyebrows to be very, very precise. So for that reason, I will do this. I love raising my brows up a little bit so I can have more space and also helps me to achieve that perfect line. So this is what I normally do. I just raise them up a little bit. Just like this. And like I said, I love the eyebrows very precise and for that reason, I pay even more attention and go the IK like this. What do you think about them? Let me know in the comment section. And what do you think about the bros? Let me know, guys. Let me know in the comment section. And for the brows, it's important to use a darker shade from the outer corner of your eye and a lighter shade on the inner corner of your eye. And in the middle, you can, of course, use any color of your desired choice. But for sure, there is exceptions. You can always use any color that you want. Just... Um, that it looks better if the outer color is darker and the inner is brighter so i'm actually just playing with the 
with the shade the different shades on my brows on my eyelids and let's see what we are going to get And because today I don't want to use the eyelashes or the fake lashes, I will draw something like a 3D. So from very fast, someone may think I've, I'm having my lashes, but I'm not planning to have the lashes today. So this is what I do. I just literally draw it. You see that? <laughs> Yo. So this is actually the part I enjoy most playing with the colors and everything. Oh, there is this awkward story that I promised to share with you. Something happened to me yesterday and I think that now is the right time to begin sharing it with you. You will just follow what I do if I told you are following the makeup tutorial guide. Yes, so there is the red points you can see on my cheek. This is normally when I'm making the brows. Uh, the excess red, <laughs> whatever you, I'm using on my brows, on the eyelids, sorry. I always like clean the brush on my cheek. So that's why you're seeing the red points. There is a story I really want to tell you. This is something that happened yesterday. I never felt so bad. I don't know what is happening with me lately because I feel that something has changed. Something just has changed. Like something that I don't realize it because I will start this story from the beginning, how it all started. Lately, I'll be going to one city. And this city, it's like um, I have to use a train every day. So every day at a specific time, I have to use the same train. And I have to make sure that I get this train to get to where I'm supposed to be. So it happened to me. Mm. Um, it happened to me yesterday when I went went to the train station. Actually, I was really, really going very fast because I was even nearly about to miss it, and that will be the worst thing ever because it's not like I'll be late, but I like to be somewhere maybe ten minutes or fifteen minutes before. So if I take the other train, I will be late and that means I will not be able to be there on time. So I will not be able to be there on time. So I went there and I was there. went straight to the ladies in the train then after going to this ladies it was like one station the train go like every four minutes is stopping somewhere so when i just enter from where i entered to the next station is four minutes barely so when i entered into the ladies i was there for about maybe three or four Guys, I begin to hear a knocking on the door of my of the ladies. And I hear someone with some keys. It was like the person who was knocking, he had some keys. So I, I could feel the keys, you know. I could feel the keys and I was like, mm, okay. And then he knocked my door. I, I felt like it was really strange. But then... I didn't open the door. I just knocked back to inform the person that someone is inside. Guys, let us blend this concealer. And so, 
it's so dry i need to make it wet yeah i didn't know if it was a guy or whatever but i could hear from how he's speaking it was a guy so the guy because he works on the train he had the keys the keys i was feeling was real keys and yes he opened the door and I was I was not doing anything special there. I just wanted to make sure my face is in order and everything. So because I like to be sure that my face and everything is okay. It's 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 just, you know, just to be sure. Not like I was doing something special. So he opened the door, he found me starting standing by the mirror of the toilet and he began to tell me, Oh, is everything okay? I hear that you are here nearly ten minutes. And then I was like, hey, 10 minutes, but we are now in the second station and that's about four minutes. He told me, no, I was told that oh, you are here now about 10 minutes. And then I told him, but from this station to this station where we are, four minutes. And he said, yeah, but we thought maybe something is wrong. I said, but this is a toilet. Why? How can you just come and open the toilet like that? He said, no, I think maybe something was wrong. He told me that the lady who was sitting next to the, the seats next to this uh, ladies was the one who said that, oh, maybe something is wrong and everything. I was so shocked. And yesterday, normally I like to make affirmations when I leave the house. I like to make affirmations and say, this day I will be nice to everybody who come next to me will experience the presence of God. Everybody will experience peace. Anybody who come next to me will be blessed just because they came next to me. It's their declarations. I like to make them. And yeah, well, yesterday was one of those days, that, like I told you, I was nearly, too, nearly almost like almost missing my train. So I didn't have time to, to do this, what I always do when I leave the house. And then, yeah, I, I was kind of, I think I reacted, not wrongly, but I think I reacted to the guy. I told him, but this is a toilet. And my face could show that, oh, you shouldn't do this. And I felt like I was not nice to this guy, really. I felt that I think I was not nice to this guy. And then I finished what I'm doing. But I didn't see it then. I thought just he was crazy or something. I didn't feel it then that way. And then I was out of the toilet. Then I went, took my seat and everything. But this guy is the one who controls the tickets. So he controlled everything and he was on the other side. And me, I, I came out, of course. And then I was going to sit where my, I take a seat and sit just now. And then he came again next to me and begin to tell me oh i'm so sorry i didn't know there was someone inside and everything blah 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 i didn't mean to hurt you or to make you angry and everything and then i didn't say anything i just said okay and he controlled my ticket and everything was fine yeah and then he left so the moment he left the holy spirit began to minister to me and I was like, oh my God, was I really nice to this guy? Because if he said that he's coming to check this toilet because maybe he thought something is wrong with me, that's really fine. And he was right. What about if someone was something was really wrong with me in this toilet and then I have nobody to help me? So if he came in this moment, he could be of a great help. But just because I was okay and I was just checking my face and everything, I thought that was so awkward. But the Holy Spirit was kind of ministering to me. I felt that I was so wrong. I begin to think on myself. I think this guy, he's right. What he's saying is making sense. He didn't come there to hurt me, but he thought me the danger when someone told him that I was there attending. So, of course, he will be concerned and make sure everybody is okay in the train. And for that reason, he came to me and, yeah, he spoke to me. And, you know. But after I left now the train, I began to hear this voice like, hmm, that was not so nice. Like, I just begin to feel that that was really not nice for me. 
how I asked him, you know, I didn't tell him anything bad or cast or something. No, I can't do that. But I just feel that I didn't even appreciate that he think that something is wrong and he come to check. I think I was not nice in this way. And I begin to realize that it's very important. I realized that, I realized that when I was leaving this train, leaving my house, maybe I get some things in my head. And at the moment, when he just came to me, I reacted according to how I was feeling before. And yes, I think it's very important that you carry a good atmosphere and make a decision every time you wake up or every day you're going somewhere. Just be sure that anything can happen with you, but you can decide you can't control what will happen to you, but you can decide your reaction, how you will react to people, how you will handle people in case somebody hurt you. And this is a decision you make before you leave your house. Because I realize that I, normally I'm very nice to people, especially if they do something awkward or bad or something. Normally I'm very nice person to, especially if there's a mistake and someone is wrong or something is happening awkward. I always react like very nice, like, kindly i don't know why but that's it so what was hurting me most about this story is that maybe this guy is just coming to this job maybe he have a difficult day like me sometimes i really have a difficult day sometimes in my work and then i always think that oh wow i like to be nice to people and i think that oh my god i missed i missed the chance to be nice today so after leaving the train I felt like, oh my God, how can I find this guy again? And the whole of, I, for some moments, I was feeling like, wow, I can't see this guy again. Why I could not just go and apologize. I wanted to just go to this guy and just apologize and tell him, oh, I'm so sorry. I felt I did not talk to you nice or I was not so kind. I felt like that. I don't know what he saw, but. I think I, I think I was not so kind to him and I think mm, I need to go and just tell him sorry and everything so I felt the very bad you know what I want to say is that <clears throat> it's very important how you the atmosphere you carry around you and now I understand why when we was children we always have a habit if you want something from your dad or your mom, you always have to see their mood at that time because they will react to you <laughs> according to what they are feeling at that time, you know. So I feel that it's important to which atmosphere yourself, like you as a person, which atmosphere are you carrying around? How are you going outside? Because most of the time we say, oh, that person was not nice. But it's not about the person. It's about us. Like, it's about me, myself, my condition of the heart at that moment, you know. So, yesterday it came very clear to me that even for the people who get angry and very mad about people, it's not about the person who hurt them. It's about themselves from inside if you don't have this peace from yourself, like from inside of you, you will always think that everybody's making you mad. But that's not true. It looks like that, but that's really not near. That is really not true. So, um, I think it's important to have an atmosphere. And every time you're leaving your house, decide. Because in this world, nobody will decide for you. Things will just happen around you. Nobody cares about you. Nobody is so interested about everything. So it's about you to decide how you want to be, how you want to live your life and everything. So if you want, don't want to go around messing up people's heart and hurting people then it's important to mind what you are doing and how you're treating people around you how you it's a decision that you make it's not somebody coming to every i mean 
we are all guilty. You have to just decide for yourself that today I'm going to be nice. Otherwise, things will happen to you that you will overreact and you you will not even you will not even realize it. You will just overreact and you will not even see. And yeah. It's important. I felt so bad when I left the gym. I could not go back because maybe I would not find him or something. But it's something that kept disturbing my heart. I felt I was not nice and I need to treat people better. So as a Christian, decide every time. Christianity is not a joke. Like It's not something that just happened to you. You have to purpose that you're going to walk in it. The Bible says pursue peace. Pursue peace. Yeah. Pursue peace, pursue peace, and with all that you can, pursue peace and keep it, you know. Pursue it, after finding it, keep it. So, something that you pursue, it means that it's something that you work for. It's not something that happened by good luck or something, no. You have to decide, I'm going to be peaceful. You have to make declarations, no matter who will come to me and do something to me, <coughs> I will be nice. And it's a decision. So, I hope this story encourages you. And, yeah, it's important to be nice to people because people are going through a lot, you know. And you just can't come from somewhere and begin to make people's life hell, you know. People are going already through many stuff. And many people, they are walking in the street. People are just managing. People are just managing and so it's important to be nice. Decide that you're going to be nice, you know, if you're going anywhere. If you wake up in the morning, decide that everybody who is coming to you is going to feel peace, atmosphere, and everything. So if you are <coughs> this person who likes to have peace, I mean, I really enjoy I love it. Like, I love that people around me are so blessed and, you know, they feel peace and they feel loved and they feel... You know, I like it when people feel nice around me. I want that everyone who comes next to me, even though I know that some people have uh, difficulties and everything accepting love, but I want that someone who comes to me, you know, next to me, they feel good. Like they don't leave the same person. I like that just people feel nice. And even though it's not possible that some people don't like peace, but at least I like to be sure that it will not me be. I will not be the reason why someone have a bad experience next to me. I like that we can like I said, we can't control. Yeah, we can't control how people will treat us, but you can control how you will treat somebody. This is in your in your control, you know. You can't control how people will treat you, but you can control how you will respond. This you can control, but what is coming outside from people, what they will do to you, this you really can't control. So I hope this my story helped someone. And if you are looking for peace, you are looking to live a godly life, think about this. Christianity is difficult, but it's also very easy. <clears throat> yeah, It's difficult, you know, to be nice every time. Sometimes you'll want to react you want just to you know pop out and react and you know and show some people that you're not stupid or you are not silly and you know but at the end of the day If God is your boss, you will feel bad. I felt so bad yeah so if god is your boss you don't have a choice you know and if you are really in god you will feel bad if you wrong people and this is how you can check if you are still 
this is one of the ways you can check if you are still in um mm? this is one of the ways you can check if you are still in the how can we say holy spirit oh no not holy spirit really but this is one of the ways you can check if you are still i mean in line guys if you love my story kindly subscribe and let's meet on the next video and by the way when my lips I like to for this specific makeup look i'll go just with the dark uh, liner a very dark one actually it's black because of the final look of the lips how I want them to look like. And with the brown lipstick, I'll just go. And this is what it will be looking like. And with my powder brush, I'll just touch up my whole face and everything just to give it that final touch and I will add also a blush and I think I like going with the with the concealer just one more time just to make to give it that final touch you know that final look just to clean up everything during the whole process i kind of love doing this because there's a way it looks so fresh and so i mean just so precise So, I don't know if you learned something about my story or if you can relate to it. Let me know in the comment section. What I look like. <laughs>